I've really got these swapped up from where they should be. Oh man, I had a bite there. I wasn't even paying attention. <sighs> Something took it and ran with it, but it didn't get the hook. It's probably a little sunfish. Anyway, I was saying, I've got them swapped opposite of what they should be. I should have the Senko on this rod and a little micro crank on the other one because it's a, so it's a much lighter weight rod. It would just work a lot better on this one. All right, now this is a real challenge for the day. Is yes, I want to fish further down this creek. I think the best way to do it, I'm gonna cross this, cross the road right here, which is actually a really dangerous place. But I think I'm gonna get a chance right now. And there's no way I'm walking down this bridge here. It's too narrow to get downstream. So I'm gonna have to go back where I was earlier and cross over. Oh, there's definitely stuff moving around down here. It's probably a turtle. I ain't sneaking up on anything down here. A lot of bait fish. Oh man, I had a bite already. That was a good solid bite. Got one that time. It's a little one, a little nice little sunfish. Look at that. Am I even recording? Yeah, okay. Foul hooked him, he swept at it. First fish of 2017. There we go, I got it out without hurting him. First fish of 2017 is a good palm sized uh, red belly sunfish. It was a little bit better when the water was a little deeper out here. All right, let me try to get out of here. Yeah, this is pretty much a a mulch pile that I'm walking through. All the leaves and everything just build up here. Trash that gets washed here, it all just builds up and disintegrates. Okay. Look, there's kind of a sidewalk here. Maybe I can make it down this way. See if I can get around this wall thing, whatever this is. I don't know what that is. Could be the floor for something out of a construction site. Uh, here's a Cadillac hubcap. This looks interesting. I don't know what's going on over here. There's ropes hanging from this tree that have been tied there. So I think this might be somebody's little private swimming hole. There's two ropes, same color. Both of them are tied hanging from the tree. And then there's a bunch of wood up there. And that wood doesn't look like it got there by, being, by washing up from the floods. That looks, uh, looks like somebody tried to build a tree house. The problem is that, that rope, the rope is right there, it's tied. That is not, that's not something that accidentally happens, that's a deliberate knot. So somebody intentionally tied that rope up there. I don't know how they got up there. And those, somebody was building the tree house out here. Those are all nailed together. And then there's another rope on the other side hanging down. actually looks like a really nice spot besides all the trash it's all calm water out here oh I just had a bite looks like something's been over here digging up stuff in the mud maybe an animal digging up mussels and stuff because a whole bunch of shells here freshwater clam freshwater mussel shells 
See if I can climb over this tree. I'm not as agile as I used to be. <clears throat> it's easier to climb up on top of stuff than it is to get over it. Uh oh, found me something. Somebody's definitely fishing out here. Well, that could just be, that could be a snake, snake trap actually. Somebody's crawfish minnow trap down here. Can't quite reach it. I don't know if it's tied off anywhere. It could have just washed here from somewhere else. Let me see if I can pick it up with my rod. Can't reach down there. Yeah, this washed away from somewhere else. Uh, well, it fell off, but there's a bluegill in there. A live one, I'm surprised it's alive. You know what, let me grab this thing by the tree that it's tangled to. All right. See what else might be in here. It's a little bluegill. Oh, there's three bluegill in it. Huh. Yeah, this thing is rusted. It's been there for a while. I don't think the owner's coming back for it. Good looking little bluegill. Let him go. Yeah, there's two more in there, and there they both go. There was a can. Somebody opened up a can of tuna or something and threw it in there. And left it out there. Got one. A little the green sunfish. Yep. Choked it too. It's a good one. Man, he tried to swallow this thing. He swallowed this thing. He didn't even try to test it out to see what it was. He just took it all in. Oh, look, I got it. I'm really surprised I got that. Oh, no, no, it's going back down. There we go. There we go. Second fish of 2017. Nice little green sunfish. It's a dark colored one. I'm trying to find somewhere where I can stand on the water without having to cut through all this stuff. I know I'm skipping a bunch of good spots here. But, ah, oh, here we go. Now this is definitely somebody's fishing spot right here. This looks man-made. All the rocks, some concrete, a little bit of a waterfall there. Yeah, this looks like a road, actually. Maybe somebody's, this is a road I'm standing on. I don't know what this is. Asphalt underneath here. Goes up this way and it continues on over there. It goes up into the woods. This, you know what? This is part of the old hiking trail. The trail used to cross the street here. Now it goes on that way. But yeah, this is another low water. I always fish and I end up fishing at low water crossings. This one, they're, they're always washed out too. Crossing the, the little bridge here. This is all asphalt and it's been partially washed away from the years of flooding. So I'm just going to get across over here, see if there's anything on that side that I can catch. Now, if you're watching this and you know where I'm fishing and you're, you, you're not into catch and release, you try to eat everything you catch, I don't recommend eating anything out of this creek because apparently it's listed as contaminated. So it's not edible. Not potable water, fish is not edible. So do not eat fish out of Almost Creek. Stay on, stay on, stay on. That might be the smallest, oh, it slipped off. I hope you got some of that. That was probably, it probably didn't even have the hook the whole time. It was probably just grabbing onto the tail. It looked like a little sunfish again. 
Okay, uh, battery died on my GoPro, uh, on the, the Hero 4, and I didn't bring my backup battery, so now I've got to switch back to my Hero, well, I guess it's not really a Hero 1, but my original Hero. I guess you could call it a Hero 1. So there's a major difference in video quality here. Oh, man. That was a good bite right there. That was just... See what happened is he grabbed it, pulled it off, and didn't get the penetration from the hook. Oh man, that was a fish. Oh man, he's there. That was definitely his. That was a fish. He took it that time, but it didn't. What is that? Three, four bites that I've missed on this fish. I'm gonna open up the hook a little bit. Right there, that should work. Just a little bit so the hook's sticking out and it doesn't get buried in the plastic. Oh man, there was another one. That one had it, he was swimming off with it. That's why I tried to set the hook, but I missed. Got him. That one's just a sunfish. That's what it was this whole time. Had had to wacky. Well, I didn't actually intentionally wacky rig it, but I left it wacky rigged. It ripped off the top. I hope this is this doesn't feel like what was pulling on my line. This is there's just probably a whole bunch of these out there. Three fish so far this year. Oh man, there is another one. I couldn't set the hook on that one because I was draped over a. Uh, branch there but that was a fish too and i'm getting a lot of bites that was a bite there too i think they're swimming off with it and when i try to set the hook i'm jerking it out of their mouth like they got the tail they don't have the hook oh man that was i kind of hope i don't catch a fish there i won't be able to get him in and of course i got one that's a decent one, if it's the same. Where is he? Ah, oh, yeah, it's a little bit bigger than the other one. Another sunfish. <laughs> no, no, it's actually smaller. Just I, maybe because he was tangled up, he felt bigger. Four today, I think. Five, five fish today. I forgot today's New Year's Day and I always have pretty good luck for some reason on New Year's Day. I mean the last time I went fishing on New Year's Day it was saltwater fishing. I was down at the coast for the holidays but uh you know still uh down at the coast I'd, I'd always have a hard time fishing. I'd never really have any good luck until New Year's Day and when I was a kid I always thought it was because of the fireworks the night before. I just, that's the only kind of logic I could make out of it was all the fire, all the, you know, the gunpowder and stuff and fireworks, whatever chemicals there were, because everybody would be shooting them out into the water and then the next day the fishing would be really good. So I don't know if that actually had anything to do with it. That's just, that's the conclusion I drew. So I don't know if it's if that's the case or not, but even though I didn't catch anything big today, numbers wise, this is probably the best day I've had in a long time. Uh, I mean, I had a bunch of bites. I landed, I'll have to go over the video and see. I think I landed about five. I lost a couple that slipped off, but I mean, still that numbers wise, that's a pretty decent day considering I don't get the fish for very long periods of time. Uh, but I'm off the next couple of days, so hopefully I'll be able to hit some better spots and catch some bigger fish.